Hi, I'm Justin K with MU Extension here to talk about integrated weed management and specifically cultural weed control. Weeds can be the most challenging pest to manage on specialty crop farms and can reduce yields in vegetable crops by 45% or more, depending on the crop and the weed pressure present. Let's start off by defining cultural versus mechanical weed control. So cultural control involves adopting different practices to minimize weed interference, and this could include crop rotation, spacing, variety selection, seeding date, cover crops, and irrigation, uh, whereas mechanical control is a physical activity that inhibits unwanted plant growth and could include a variety of different practices such as cultivation, flame weeding, tarping, or steaming. It's important to note that there is what we call a critical weed-free period. So in the first couple of weeks of crop establishment, this is the most important time to control weeds. Otherwise, you can have substantial yield losses. But weed management strategies depend on planning to combine multiple different techniques. And if you're able to stack different techniques and practices, this will give you the most robust and resilient weed management strategy. Crop rotation is an effective strategy for weed control because different crops favor the development of different weeds. This is because of the time of year that they're planted, their growth habit or canopy structure, and rotating crops allows you to manipulate what weeds might be present in a bed or a plot in a given year or part of the season. This is a picture from a University of Wisconsin publication on crop rotation. I'll also include a link in the YouTube video description for a SARE publication on planting crop rotations on organic farms. Cover crops can be another tool in the toolbox when we're thinking about cultural weed control. Fall planted cover crops can inhibit the development of winter annual weeds. Crops like cereal rye and sorghum sudan grass have allelopathic residue when incorporated into the soil. This allelopathic residue inhibits seed germination. So for a transplanted crop like tomatoes after cereal rye, you can reduce some of the weed seed germination in the first couple weeks after termination and incorporation of the cover crop. Summer cover crops can prevent summer weeds taking over from developing and setting seed. And the important thing about cover crops, in addition to annual weeds, is they prevent perennial weeds from developing larger root masses that can push off new foliage. Crop spacing is also an important tool when we think about cultural weed control. So you can see the image below of two rows of broccoli, three staggered rows and four staggered rows. And you can see as you manipulate the amount of area between these crops, you can reduce weed pressure because the canopy will close between these crops and reduce the amount of sunlight that weeds have the chance to grow in. Mulching is also another important cultural tool. Mulching prevents weed seed germination. It prevents the establishment of weeds, weeds that would then set seed and add to the weed seed bank. Mulch also prevents perennial weeds from thriving. Anytime we can prevent perennial weeds from thriving, we're reducing the chance that that perennial rootstock is going to be storing more sugar and producing more foliage. If we can rob that perennial weed of the chance of sunlight, we're going to diminish that perennial rootstock over time. When we think about mulch, we think about choosing the right mulch for the right crop. So organic mulches like straw can be great for some of our large transplanted crops. For some of our smaller crops with tighter row spacings like lettuce, for instance, um, generally black plastic mulch or cultivation is used for weed control. And for some crops like lettuce mix or baby spinach, it might not be practical to use any kind of mulch, and those generally rely on cultivation for weed control. There's a lot of additional benefits to mulch in addition to weed suppression. You help retain moisture from irrigation or rainfall events, as well as help moderate the soil temperature and keep that soil temperature a little bit cooler in some of our hottest months. Maintaining a good temperature in that root zone is going to promote and enhance crop growth. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. The image on the right is a publication from SARE called Manage Weeds on Your Farm, a guide to ecological strategies. If you're interested in learning more about cover crops, crop rotation, or cultural weed management, I encourage you to check out this publication. It's available free as a downloadable PDF, and we'll include a link to this publication in the description of the YouTube video.